today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 50 between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. Fields it right around the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Time for our first look at the Denver offense, and of course the new face of the Broncos, nine-time Pro Bowler while in Seattle, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. So first and 10 now from the 30. Quickly to the air is Wilson. Flush to his right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit. And hit it, he did. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. To throw is Wilson. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. There's Wilson to throw. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. This from 42 yards out. 
The kick by McManus is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. We see Carolina's offense getting set for their first possession here. And at quarterback, his second season with the Panthers, Sam Darnold. And the thing with Sam Darnold is we know the skill set is there. May not be the most mobile or strongest arm quarterback in the league, but usually plays with really good poise and at his best, like a point guard in basketball, able to move around and distribute the rock. Darnold and the Panthers now with a first and 10 here at their own 22. Here's Darnold. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore. 78 yards. And the Panthers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. They said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. From the 27, Wilson. Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. What? 
So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On second and seven, Wilson. They're going for Hamler, but this is intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed the passing game can do. It gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. After the interception, here's Darnold over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore. And he's going to get this down near the 25. That was a nicely run slam route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. A good run there off right tackle in old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run again with Foreman. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Thomas, and this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. This one fielded at the five. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one? I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Throwing is Wilson. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you hard to make it happen. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle, Murray. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Wilson. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 19. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A shotgun handoff. This is Murray now. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Wilson. Being chased out left. And his throw here is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Broncos are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Our score, 10 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two.
A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now it's Wilson. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Latavius Murray from four yards out. And the Broncos are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. Yeah, the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A first down throw, Darnold. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And they get a start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Foreman. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From just shy of midfield, Darnold. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Darnold. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chenault. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Play action. It's Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Again, Darnold to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Marshall, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Mike, 
Darnold from the gun. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now they've gotten it to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? Darnold now to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Eddie Pinheiro on now. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they will take the lead at 13-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. To the field goal on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Takes it at the seven. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. out in front and they will get the football first second half action underway taking it about the one 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Darnold and the Panthers now with a first and 10 here. Just shy of the 30. A play fake, and it's dark. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Faking the give, Darnold. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator on the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half, and now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other, so they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll run the counter with Murray. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. That pass complete to his running back, Latavius Murray. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Wilson and that is caught and the Broncos have taken the lead here in this third quarter so a very strong first drive in the second half Charles as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead and they were pretty purposeful there weren't they measured in their approach but boy they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field now McManus for the extra point And that will make this a four-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. 
This taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Darnold, throw left side, going to be caught by Chennault. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run with Foreman. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards and the Panther first down. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? First and ten, Darnold to the right side and complete to Thomas. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Carry for Foreman. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Johnny Hacker now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the, they have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I, I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. 
So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. So the completion gets him just a yard. Third and seven now. I know from experience, partner, all they've been talking about is if we can just make one play, get our hands on the ball one time, we can change this game. They almost did. That was a dangerous throw. And instead, it goes against them one more time. Let's see if they can hang in there and not lose control mentally. From the gun on third down, Wilson buying time to his left. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you what point you think now is they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They go with Murray again, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run from the shotgun with Murray, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll give up the gut for Murray. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
An eight play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now Wilson. Looking in. A one possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. The kick by McManus is good, and the drive will wind up yielding three. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So Darnold and the Panthers now. Down 20 to 13, just over a minute 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Darnold. Pass complete. Thomas. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. come up with a second and five. Darnold to throw. Complete to Chenault. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Gosh, given the time of the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the train to catch everything. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Darnold. He gets this one to Hubbard. Complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. First down now, but that clock rolling. Darnold. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hubbard. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. Now it's Darnold. And Thomas has it. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. This one came right down to the wire. And CD, they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.